Hi, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> this is our tea break lesson and that means that we can record it and share it on YouTube so other people might come and see our video and also learn English like this. Today's lesson is about talking about our own lives and using past tense in a positive and negative ways. So let's have a look at my life. Actually, this is not my mum and dad. This is a picture of some people, but let's pretend this is my mum and dad and they were married in a registry office. They weren't married in a church. So we can use the positive, they were married in a registry office. And if we want to say the negative, they were not. And we can shorten that to weren't. They weren't married in a church. So we need the be verb plus married. Maria, where were your mum and dad married? Mm, they were married in church, I think. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Welcome. <laughs> so. Hi, Sally. Hi, Maya. Hi, hi. Hi. Welcome. So I can ask, were they married in a registry office? And you would say, they weren't. Right. Married. Exactly. They weren't married mm -hmm. in yeah. a registry office. What happened next? Well, I was born. And we can say, I was born in a place or I was born in a year. So you could say, I was born in 1970 in London. Maria, were you born in London? Mm, I wasn't born in London. <laughs> Good. I wasn't born. It's short for I was not born. Maria, where were you born? I was born in Tampere, in Finland. Great. And when were you born? <laughs> A long time ago. You don't have to say. <laughs> I was born in <laughs> some year. Some yeah, I, I was born in 1980, uh, 1968. Okay, great. And you said the year very well. Thanks. <laughs> when I was a child, hmm, I really wanted a bicycle, but I didn't have a bicycle. If we use had, then we need in past tense, I had a bicycle, but if I didn't, there was no bicycle, I didn't have. There's a difference in the verb, verb form. We need the past tense form for positive and we need normal present tense form for negative. Maria, did you have a bicycle when you were a child? Mm, yes, I had a bicycle. Yeah, many. <laughs> and I broke every, every bicycle. Oh, can you tell me about a toy you didn't have? Um, I think I had many toys, but I didn't have a, a horse. You didn't have a horse, <laughs> but yeah. you wanted a horse. Yes, I wanted. <laughs> Tanya, do you want to chat or listen? Yes. <laughs> Tanya, did you have a teddy bear when you were a child? 
No, I didn't have a teddy bear, but I had a bicycle. Okay, good. You were lucky you had a bicycle, but you didn't yes. have a teddy bear. You said that really well. Is there another thing that you wanted when you were a child that you didn't have? Mm, I think I wanted a doll's house where I wanted to keep my dolls in the doll's house. But I didn't have a doll house then. Perfect. So you said a really good sentence. You said, I wanted a doll's house, but I didn't have a doll's house. Brilliant. Let's look at what's next. Oh, my father worked on a farm. Maria, where did your father work? Did he work on a farm? My father didn't work on a farm. Perfect. You did it exactly right. You used didn't plus the verb didn't work on a farm. Tanya, how about you? Did your father work on a farm? No, he didn't work on a farm. He worked in an office. Great. He worked in an office. So yeah. worked is a regular verb, which means in past tense, it takes this ed ending. Not all verbs do that, but worked <laughs> works like that. It's a regular verb. My father worked on the farm and we didn't have a lot of money. When I was a child, we could say we didn't have a lot of money. We weren't very rich. We weren't very poor either, but we didn't have a lot of money. We lived in a semi-detached house. This house, which is one half and another half. And one family lives in one side and the other family lives in the other side. Maria, did you live in a semi-detached house? Uh, does it mean a uh, two families house? Yeah, it means that if you look at this picture, you can almost see a line down the middle. There are two houses joined together. And here's my house and here's mm. the neighbor's house. I have that kind of now, but I okay. we didn't live in semi-detached seat house. Good. A semi-detached house is this. Semi-detached. Mm -hmm. A semi-detached house. When you were a child, what kind of house did you have? I don't know uh, that kind of house where lives only big house where lives only one family, but I don't know name in English. We can use this word detached. Aha. Uh -huh. So we live in so yeah, we live detached in detached house. house. Perfect. Well done. Tanya, did you live in a semi-detached house? No, I didn't live in a semi-detached house. I lived in a detached house. Great. And I want to say we owned, this isn't true either, but we owned a cottage in the forest. Maria, did you own a cottage in the forest? Yes, we owned two cottages <laughs> in the forest. In this the is my dream. I want to own a cottage in the forest. Tanya, did you own a cottage in the forest? No, we didn't own a cottage in the, in the forest. Actually, we don't have forest here. <laughs> <laughs> then that's why, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Would you like a cottage, Tanya? Yes. Come to it's Finland. Welcome here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, Maria. Maria, you will offer a visa like many customers are asking, and I will be there. <laughs> Don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't offer any help with visas when moving to Finland, but we can tell you all about what life is like here. Yes. I went to school in Brighton. Maria, did you go to school in Brighton? No, I didn't go to school in Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go to school? Uh, I went to school in Valkeakoski. Okay. Tanya, I went to school in 1977. Did you go to school in 1977? Mm, no, I didn't go to school in 1977. Actually, I was not born in 1977. <laughs> you are very young. <laughs> when did you go to school? I think in I went to school in 1984 or 85. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> you said that perfectly. Well done. That's excellent. Hmm. So I left school in 1990 when Tanya was just starting probably secondary school and hmm. I worked in a laboratory. Maria, did you work in a laboratory? No, I didn't work in a laboratory. Where did you work? Uh, I worked in many, many places before I graduated. But um, I think first place I worked in some factory. Hmm. All right, Tanya. Did you work in a laboratory? think now you're okay no yeah. no I didn't work in a laboratory I worked in a school okay and after I worked in a laboratory I went to university actually in real life I didn't go to Oxford University but I can <laughs> I can ask Maria Maria did you go to Oxford University no, I didn't go to Ox Oxford <laughs> University. <laughs> Where did you go to university? Uh, I went uh, to Turku University and then to Tampere University and then to Jyväskylä University. Oh my goodness, you have been to a lot of universities. You have really studied a lot. Tanya, did you go to Oxford University? <laughs> no, I didn't go to Oxford University. Where did you go to university? I went, uh, I went to uh, BZ Yung University in my city. All right, great. We are, oh, we are almost at the end. I was going to say we are at the end. Now we have talked all about the different things that people can do in life using positive and negative forms. So you can tell me about your life. And I think that we have run a bit out of time for today. But next time, you can tell me all about your life, Ooh. the positive things and the negative things. I think we need two <laughs> tea breaks. <laughs> I'm told. Right. Let's book <laughs> the rest of the series for all about our lives. Thanks very much, ladies, for being with me today. And I hope everybody else has learned something too and that they come next time to join us on Gimara's English Tea Break. Thank you, Sally. Have a nice day. Thank Tanya, you. Have a nice day too. Thanks, Tanya. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.